How do? I know it's a bit cheeky, but this video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you need any coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got the cheapest coins on the internet, and if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a discount. How do, Lewis, LE96Z? How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing sick. If you're wondering why I've got the hump a bit today, Today, when I'm recording this, Wigan are playing the last game of the season and we more or less have to win and teams around us have to lose, otherwise we're going to get relegated through no fault of our own. So excuse me if I'm, if I'm, a, I'm a bit tiny, tiny bit moody today, just excuse me for it, but I tell you what, one thing that can cheer me up, just one thing, get this video to over 100 likes in the next two seconds. Let's see if we can do that. Someone was asking for a proper light target, so there you go. But let's welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Road to Glory series where we go through and we're basically going through and seeing what team we can get before FIFA 21 comes out. As you can tell by the title of this, this is going to be the best way to make coins in FIFA 20 right now. This is a method which I've used before, but I want to rehash it. But to start off with, there's a couple of things we need to do on the road to glory. We'll have the method a bit later on, so make sure to watch to that. But let's get into this video. All right, so you can see in the top left how our coin total is looking. 76,000 coins in my opinion. I'd say that's pretty good. If we jump over to the transfer market, as you'll be able to see from the stream the other day, we managed to get Shakiri. I listed up on an open bid. He sold on for 10k. Not a clue why. Honestly, not a clue why. But this is basically what everything sold on for. You can take a look at the current bid at the bottom if you really are that bothered. But it's completely up to you. If you want to scroll through and take a look, that's absolutely fine. The day today is Wednesday when you're watching this. It should be Thursday. So Div Rivals rewards should be out. But I will include those in a video a bit later on this week. Hopefully that is okay with you lads. But this is basically where we're up to with everything. Everything's selling on pretty, pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Everything is selling on pretty well. We've had some items not sell on just yet. Some of these right here. Who I am actually going to relist up. Also got a squad fitness as well, which hasn't sold on just yet, which, eh, eh, it's a bit annoying, but whatever. What I'm going to do, I'm going to jump over to the squad, and I'm going to let you guys know where we are up to with everything. So, you can see right here, the squad's kind of taking a bit of shape, sort of, not really. Basically, I want to go and get myself a left mid today and a centre-back. So, centre-back needs to be someone ideally from Chelsea. I'm thinking Zuma. But I want to go and assess my options. So let's just jump over to the transfer market for that. So let's go over here. We're going to go over to Prem. We're going to go over to Chelsea. And we're going to see what options we've got in the centre-back position. As I was saying, looking at some of the options that we do have, Rudiger could be a good shout because obviously we've got Hummels on that left-hand side. Zuma could be a good shout. Everything is expensive, basically. That's that's where everything's up to. So uh, we need to somehow get a Rudiger for a okay price, not anything too expensive. I don't really know how much he. Yeah, that that was a deal. That 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 was a deal. Yes. Let's take a look though to see what his price is going for at the minute. Jesus, I didn't think that he would be this expensive. So he's going for around 7,000 coins. That's fine. We do need a centre back. And to be honest, I don't really care too much because I know that I'm going to get the coins back, if that makes sense. So looking around 7,000 coins at the minute, I think I'm just going to snipe at 6.5 and see if I can pick anything up. One good way to make coins right now, just before I show off the method that I do have in this video, one really good way to make coins right now, just go and snipe cards between 80 and 82 rated because they're so inflated at the minute, a lot of people get them in the packs, they don't realise how much they're going for, or they just want a quick sell on, and you can actually get yourself some very, very good deals. So just bear that in mind, if you're looking for quick coins, go and find someone who's like 80 rated, 81 or 82 rated. Just do some sniping with him and you should be able to get something. But I'm going to go through and try and get a better deal on this Rudiger because I don't want to pay 7k for him. Just looking at his price at the minute, he has actually gone up in price. So um, I don't really want to sit here and waste all of my life sniping. So I'm just going to buy a fresh one at 7.2. Can't believe I've just paid 7.2k for an 82 rated player. But there we go. Left mid position next. I'm thinking Coleman. I know, I'm off the rails. I am thinking Coleman though. Uh, I think he's going to be quite expensive though, baby. Let me have a look. <sighs> yeah, he's, he's uh, absolutely ridiculous. His price... 
well, 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 that's so expensive, but I don't care. Cool, he's in the squad. Taking a look at the squad though before we jump into this game, this is how everyone is looking. I could probably do with chucking some fitness cards on my G in the center Delaney. So we'll chuck a player fitness on him. Just go for a bronze one here, lovely stuff. And then I think I'm gonna need Callum Wilson as well. Ideally as well, I do want to start to put some chem styles on my players. Now, thinking dead eye maybe for Wilson because he's already got 87 pace. His shot and his passing could be a lot higher. So we'll chuck a dead eye on him. I think I'm going to take a look at the other striker as well and maybe chuck a chem style on him. Let me see what ones I've actually got. Engine? No, oh, no, no. I'm just going to jump into a game. Alright boys, so this is the team that we're going to be coming up against. That's a very, very nice team. Really, really nice team. That Vinicius looks absolutely sick at left wing, but it's definitely beatable. I think we've proven that with the squad so far. We can beat teams. We just sometimes struggle against people who press high against us. So I'm going to chuck some tunes on. We're going to get into this game. Hoping for a win and then I will get into the best way to make coins in FIFA 20 right now. If this is your first video... Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Let me know down in the comment section if there's anything else that I can do better. And he's paused it already. Off to a blind of the boys. Picked up the ball after this guy was messing about a bit. Let's see what we can do with it. Oh, it's a nice ball through. It's a nice ball through for the new signing. Come on! <laughs> what? Not looking good. He's coming down this right hand side with Kubo. Very nearly. But I might be able to counter attack here because he's committed so many men forward we need someone out on this right hand side okay this works this works daniel james the absolute lightning pace of him nice ball into the box coleman on his debut there we go we make it one nil in the first 20 minutes that's exactly what we want and we are gonna hopefully see a lot more from coleman like that because Coleman at that left mid position, I know 84 rated, probably not the best at this stage in FIFA, but I think he can still do a job, especially in these lower divisions, just as we sort of get up to doing foot champions, but not so bad, not so bad, but he does come forward with Raul, and I, I am a tad, tad bit nervous, that's fine, that's fine. He's gone all the way back though, he does have so many men committed forward though, I feel like he's got fast build up on maybe on his offensive style. Which means that basically all of his players are shifting forward. So usually on fast build-up, you've normally got two men sitting and your left-backs and right-backs always, always bomb on. That's a good ball into the box and we were able to defend it quite well. Are we going to be able to get on the end of this? No, we're not. Okay, that's fine. Ball through the middle. What can we do with it? Delaney. Back over to Wilson. Make it 2-0. This guy is honestly so, so lucky. Basically, this is what's happening. He presses me. I counter. I nearly score. He presses me, I counter, I nearly score. Ah! It's a good ball over the top for Kubo. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure why that's worked so well, but we're going to have to clear the ball. And half-time ref would be perfect. If you could just blow the whistle, thank you very much. I think I need to bring off some of the strikers, make a few changes. Just a bit... Yeah, I feel like a goal's coming for him, basically. Nice ball through. Sabi in the centre. Oh, Dan James at the back. Stick and he makes it 2-1. Lovely. I'm surprised this guy's not quit, to be honest. That was some BS right there, though. That really was some BS. I really didn't deserve that. I wasn't going for Dan James, but it somehow found him at the back stick. And we start the second half really well. I have brought Sabi on, that Milestones player, and he... He's, he's doing he's doing all right at the at the minute. So we've got Wilson here, just assisted a goal. Comes back to Vishka, another player who I brought on. Decore, oh, damn it, Decore got so close there. We need to be patient with this defending here though. Nice ball down this right hand side for Ricardo Pereira. Is there anyone in the box? Sabi's coming in. Sabi's coming in, and we make it three nil, three nil. Lovely goal. Oh, and he's paused it. Go on, go on, go on. Do me a favour. Do me a favour. Alright, lads, we are back. It is a couple of days after I last recorded. I think I was recording on Wednesday, and now today is 
Friday, so two days have gone by, but we do actually have some rewards which I want to open. So what I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for the untradeable rewards Prime Mix Players Pack. We've got four of those, so we should hopefully get something from four 45k packs. So there we go, we'll redeem those. But the reason why you've stayed is because of the little trading... Why, why are these not loading again? Just... Two seconds. All right, we're back after that little interlude. Anyway, as you can see, I've got loads of Johnnies on the transfer list at the minute. I think around five of them have sold on, as you can see right here, which is actually pretty decent. We've actually made some pretty decent profit on all of that. As far as I'm aware, all of the ones that I've listed up have actually sold on. So this sort of leads me into this best way to make coins in FIFA 20. Now, this is a method which I've done videos on before. Quite a few times as well, so if you've not seen them, go and check them out. But, basically what it is, you go and find players who come out of packs in a left wing back or in a right wing back, convert them to left back or right back, sell them on for a profit. Now, when these players sell on, on the transfer market, for whatever reason, once they've sold on, they'll just be up as a left wing back. I've not a clue why, I, hopefully you don't think that I'm full of BS here. This is just how it works. So Johnny is always the player that I use. When I'm struggling on coins, I always use Johnny. So there's a player if you want to go and try him out. What you need to do is basically find one of these players who come out as a left wing back or right wing back. If you're wondering how to find those players, we will go through it. But let me just explain the method first. So as you can see, we're going to look in left back. And as you can see right here, he is going for a pretty high price. Now, let me just get rid of that. And let's take a look to see how much he's going for. He's going for around 5,000 coins. So this is what the method is. It's as simple as this, right? Take left back off, go over here. And we're going to go and see how much he's actually going for. So on the market right now, he is actually a bit expensive by the looks of things. He might be expensive because of an SBC. But... He is actually quite expensive at the minute. So we'll go to his minimum price, which is looking around 2.8k. So we've picked one up at 2.8k. You chuck it in the club, just like that. It's easy, easy. We've got that bit on lockdown. Then what you want to do is go to consumables. You want to go over to position modifier. You want to go and find a position modifier from left wing back to left back. Pick it up for as cheap as you can possibly get it. So you can actually pick these up for 200 coins. That brings that total price that we've paid for this card when he's converted at 3,000 coins. And we've just seen a load of them on the market in left back at around 5k. So again, if I just go over here and I go over to... Johnny, if I just go over here, go over to Johnny and go over to left back and then search up again. He was going for around 5,000 coins. So you can see right here, 4.7k actually. So it's cost us 3,000 coins to convert him into a left back position. He's selling at 4.7k. So we can sell on it maybe like 4.3, 4.5, make a pretty decent profit. And it's as simple as that. So once you've got everything into your club, what you need to do is then jump over to your reserves bench at the bottom right here you want to search in your club you want to go and find the player that you've just picked up in this example we're using johnny but again i will show you how to find some players that this will work with then what you want to do is go to apply consumable you want to go over to positioning over here just next to training and you want to chuck that left wing back to left back on and that brings his total price now to 3,000 coins we know that he's going for 4.7k, so for this example, I'll just list it up really, really cheap just to show you guys how easy it is to get these cards to sell on. We'll go for 4.3k, and then we wait, and it's pretty simple, really. We, we, we just wait, and once he's sold on, we'll, we'll, we'll be chilling. Now, if he doesn't sell on in the first hour, what I do personally, list up for 12 hours. All of these cards right here will list up for 12 hours. I did this at the end of the recording session the other day, hence why they sold on. There you go, Johnny sold on, we've made profit, as simple as that. Best way to make coins in FIFA 20, trust me. If you're looking for a way as well to actually find these players in the first instance, what you need to do is come over to Footbin. I will leave this exact link, the page that I'm going to, in the description. But if you just come through to Footbin, all you need to do is go over to Positions. You need to go to Right Back, Right Wing Back, either one, or Left Back, Left Wing Back. Click on it. Then once you click on it, you need to order by position and what that will do will put all of the left wing backs on top you then need to go and find yourself a card that you like maybe someone from a popular league or a popular nation preferably a gold card so for example you've got johnny right here you've also got jetro williams Willems, Williams, not too sure. Could be a good one. You also got Matt Ritchie as well. You've also got maybe, let's take a look. Who else have we got? Johan 
Mahika, I think that's how you pronounce his name. 1.3k, you could probably convert him for around 1.5k, depending on what he's going for in left back. He could be a good one, but this works with right back and right wing back as well. So I'm going to jump over to my console again and just check this guy's price, this Johan Mahika. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that right. So we'll go over here and we'll go over to Johan. I'm, again, I hope that's how you pronounce his name. So Johan Mahika, as you can see, 75 rated, left back, and he's going for around 2.9k. So again, I've just worked out that I can do this for 1.5k, so I could probably undercut that and do 2.5k. This will work with pretty much any single one of these players as much as just if you're undercutting, someone's going to pick them up because they can't be bothered to do the position modifier thing. But say you do this with 10 players, it's 10k right there, and it... it couldn't really be easier than that to be honest so he's going right now on the market at around 1.4k you could probably could pick him up a bit cheaper at like 1.3 1.2 but I'm, i can't really be bothered sitting here and sniping so again we'll pick this one up 1.4k jump him into the club and then we'll go over to our consumables and we'll go over to position modifier. Go over to left wing back to left back and then we'll pick this one up at 200 coins. Lovely. Chuck that into the club and you know what to do next. You need to jump over to your squad, chuck him onto your reserves bench, do the position modifier. And we've paid 1.4. We've also paid 200 coins for the position modifier. So that comes to a total price at 1.6k. The minimum on the market at the minute is 2.8k. So I can list mine up at 2.5k. That's as, as simple as it really is to be honest like it, it's not difficult at all like it, it is one of the easiest and the best ways to make coins so for me it just ticks every single box in what i want with a trading method it, it's not anything that you've really got to think about too much you don't have to think about what the market's going to be like you just list up at a price and maybe even list it up for 12 hours and you hopefully get a sell on it's as simple as that but we're going to go and open our 45k packs now because we've got four of them, boys. Four 45k packs. We've got to get some. I've just realized, though, that these are pricks. Pricks? <laughs> They're not. No. The prime mixed players packs. Whatever. Well, we might we might hit something. I don't know. I, I'm annoyed that I thought these were 45k packs. I mean, if you've been flaming me in the comments, you're probably right to do so. Not even a board in that one, which is lovely. Let, let's, let's have a look at this pack. It could be a good pack. Oh, yeah. That's a sick pack, that. It's a sick pack. Couldn't be worse. Couldn't be worse. We'll have a look at the next one though. Hopefully something a bit better. That's just going to be an 80 rated, is it? I think. 82. <laughs> next up, give me some of Yeah, that's fine. Just a rare gold player will do. Oh, it's a Commonwealth player. Or oh, Liberty Torres, whatever. 57 pace. It doesn't matter what he is. He's got 57 pace and 35 shots, boys and girls. I mean, I've got an 85 rated Sewell. Is... That's not bad, you know. That actually... That's not bad. <laughs> Why did that not come up first? Why would that not come up over the Libertadores? No. No, no. Let's... Next pack. Next pack. Final pack. Not going to be anything. It's, it's an alright flow, but it's just nothing. Libertadores again. I'm sick of seeing these cards. Is anyone else just sick of seeing these? Like, you open a pack and you think, I'm going to get something decent. Libertadores. Yeah, those packs were trash, man. Trash. I want to jump over, though, to the transfer list. And we'll have a look to see how our card's doing. He's chilling at the minute at 2.5k. But I tell you what, why don't you come back in the next episode... To see if he's sold on. I think that's fair enough, don't you? Unless he wants to sell on now, right this second. Knowing my luck, I'll stop recording and he'll sell on straight away, which is always the case. But let's that's when we're wrapping up this video. Hope you did enjoy it. I'm sorry that this video didn't come out on Thursday, just add a bit too much on, to be honest, but better late than never, eh? I'll be hopefully doing a video tomorrow and on Sunday as well. So three videos on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So hopefully you do enjoy that. If you do, Make sure to drop a like on this video. If you're new around here as well, make sure to subscribe. But, the Space 6, this has been the best way to make coins in FIFA 20 right now. And I'm off. Goodbye.